hello everyone and welcome back to another adobe illustrator tutorial so today we are going to create this nova text effect in adobe illustrator let's delete this effect and let's start creating from scratch the font i'm using for this text effect is baby monster and the font size will be 252 point let's center this to the artboard next click on this none to remove the fill color and then we'll go to appearance panel click on this add new fill icon and let's fill this with a gradient color let's fill this with default black and white gradient change the angle to 90 and let's click on this white point change the location to 11 and double click on this white point and let's change the color next click on this black point change the location to 71 and then double click on this black point to change the color next Let's go to appearance panel, duplicate this layer and let's change the color to white. Click on this arrow and let's add an offset path to this white layer. Let's go to effect, path and offset path and apply a 4 pixel offset path. Then click OK. Next, duplicate this white layer, select this layer. And let's change the color first. Then click OK. Next, we need to apply a transform effect to this layer. Let's go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. And here in Move section, keep the horizontal value to 0. And let's change the vertical value to 15 pixel then click ok next we need to apply a gaussian blur effect to this layer let's go to effect blur and gaussian blur let's apply a 25 pixel gaussian blur then click ok next select this white layer duplicate this and drag this white layer to bottom next click on this arrow and let's change the offset path value let's change this value to 25 pixel then click ok next we need to apply a transform effect to this white layer let's go to effect distort and transform and transform and here in move section keep the horizontal value to 0 pixel and change the vertical value to 8 pixel then click OK. Next, duplicate this layer. Now select this layer and let's change the color first. Then click OK. Next, click on this arrow, click on offset path and change the offset path value to 33 pixel. Then click OK. Next, we need to add a stroke to create a 3D effect for this text. Let's add a 10 point stroke and let's drag this stroke to bottom. Let's apply a gradient color to this stroke. Let's go to gradient panel and apply a default black and white gradient and here click on this white point and let's change the color next add a point and change the color and let's change the location of this point to 61 percent now click on this black point and change the color Next, 
click on this icon in stroke and let's go to appearance panel next click on this arrow on stroke layer then go to effect path and offset path and apply a 28 pixel offset path then click ok next we need to apply a transform effect to this stroke layer let's go to effect distort and transform and transform and here in move section keep the horizontal value to 0 and let's change the vertical value to 8 pixel then click OK next we need to apply one more transform effect to this stroke layer let's go to effect distort and transform and transform click on apply new effect and this time we need to change the vertical value to 0 0.5 pixel and we need 80 copies we'll keep this horizontal value to 0 pixel then click OK next select this layer duplicate this layer now select this layer and drag this layer to bottom let's change the color of this layer to black click on this arrow we need to change the transform values of this layer click on this transform and change the vertical value to 60 pixel then click OK next we need to apply a Gaussian blur effect to this layer let's go to effect blur and Gaussian blur and apply a 50 pixel Gaussian blur then click OK next click on opacity change the blend mode to multiply and change the opacity to 70% click on this arrow to close this layer next we need to add a line pattern to this text effect click on this first layer duplicate this layer then click on this arrow click on three dots click on this open swatch library then go to patterns then basic graphics then basic graphic lines and here you can find all the line patterns you can choose any pattern let's say I am choosing this next click on this arrow click on opacity change the blend mode to color dodge and here we go here is our final text effect look I hope you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching